Hey everybody, quick little video on what I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to do a little swap on some uh, fenders on a flatbed trailer I'm working on. Got this 16 foot long uh, car hauler up in here. Obviously as you can tell the fenders have seen better days. I don't even think the bottom of this thing's even attached anymore. It's got some bubblegum welds all over it and after really kind of going through and looking at what it would take to try and make sense out of this stuff and even the one on the, work, the other side was even worse to be honest with you. Um, we just decided to go ahead and buy some brand new fenders so we picked up two of these. Uh, Rule King I believe. Uh, it was about $30. Uh, let's see if I can get a little camera magic here. It was Uriah I believe is the name brand. And uh, I'm going to pop those old things off there and do a few other things, little small projects. Inevitably, it's always, well, you know, when we're doing this, we need to take care of this, that, and the other, which is great. Got no problem with that. We got a couple of uh, ramps, obviously, that mount right up here on the inside of the trailer. And uh, what we've done, these uh, actually stuck up a little bit taller. About like that and then this chain wrapped around as a security measure to keep them in place and then lock uh, the problem was it was a little bit too tall after you'd uh, pull the ramp if you didn't necessarily need the ramp uh, it was kind of a danger to shins and people run their hand into it or anything along those lines you run your hand along the bar here or something like that and just run into it so we decided to make those a little bit shorter and just get them down to the same level as the rest of the trailer whenever the ramps aren't there anyway so we're going to go ahead and do that uh, for the most part I already have done that and uh, the other small little thing that he wanted done was uh, the uh, tail lights uh, he had these pretty old school brackets that were on there they were mounted up about like this I guess uh, I don't know I guess you used to be able to take the lights apart and kind of put it on mounted on like that or something along those lines I don't know exactly how they were doing it but all the lights from you know the last 30 years that I've seen have always got two holes in the bottom of them just like this and even you know a newer model which isn't all that new but newer uh, so what my uh, what this guy was doing was going and you know getting a piece of block of wood or whatever and bolting it down to that and then drilling a couple holes in it and mounting it there so it was just kind of really a cluster and of course the wood would deteriorate and then split and fall apart and the light would fall off so we were, we we're going to clean everything up a little bit make it a lot nicer for him and uh, I think what we're going to do is just use uh, some standard bed frame material that I picked up angle iron whatever you want to call it I mean I'm just going to mount it up right, weld it up basically about like this drill a couple holes in it or mount the light straight to it and I'll show you what that's going to look like I've kind of left the other side the whole trailer is really in different stages so I can keep walking back and forth and showing you guys different things. But this will be finished product. Like I said, a little bit cleaner install, just that one bar going across. A couple bolts right to it there and just weld it over. Made it a lot nicer. And no worries about anything, it's plenty solid. And here is Uh, basically, I got very, very lucky. The fender didn't have to be cut and modified in any way, shape, or form, which was very, very nice. Um, they were a little bit long. As you can see, there's a pretty significant gap in here, and then there's one across the, uh, at the rear tire as well. But they just lined up on these verticals that were already in the trailer, built into the trailer really well, so I just went ahead and mounted them to that. Uh, took a little bit of angle iron or that bed frame again and uh, made a couple of small brackets see if I can get it to where there's not a big glare just uh, this back section here cut it out to where or round it out to where it would go up against the bar 45 there drill a hole in it there's actually just four bolts that hold the fender on it is remarkably strong uh, I'm not gonna hold a dance party or anything on it but yeah it's holding up there just fine it's nice and solid uh, <clears throat> one of the other issues that we ran into with uh, 
cutting the section off here, obviously, like I said, the chain was gone. So, we're going to mount a new chain down here, a little bit lower. And I think what I'm going to do, let's see if I can get it, is uh, instead of having this last link right where the uh, chain starts welded to the metal here, I'm going to go a couple links back, that way the chain can have a few links on this side and the lock can actually stay on the outside of the truck or the trailer I'm sorry this time instead of sitting right up here kind of in the way one other thing that I'm gonna do uh, with these ramps and the way that they're mounted in there is uh, obviously you see I've gone through and I've cut around all the outside edges here I'm gonna slice this off too but uh, I just want to leave this on for so you can kind of see what I'm talking about um, just to give myself a nice transition to where I can actually set the ramp on the rail and then just kind of roll it over and slide it into place. I wanted to give myself a nice little smooth ramp to do that. So uh, I'll slice that off and weld it down and everything. I mean, obviously I don't need it that tall. I'll probably even cut this one down a little bit more, bend it down, weld it grind it to where it's nice and smooth that way again you can just take the ramp set it on there pivot it up and it'll drop right into place it'd be a lot more uh, uh, easy to do that than it was previously where you're actually trying to hold the ramp up in the air and line it up on both sides and then drop it straight down in but basically that's about it uh, as you can see it looks a lot a lot nicer and cleaner on this side than it does on the other side a few other little modifications that got done to this trailer recently were a uh, spare tire mount again all do-it-yourself kind of a stuff there's really not a whole lot to it this was a piece of 4x4 four four, uh, square stock came out to a metal plate that we kind of just butchered and made it fit inside the wheel there a little bit popped a couple of holes in it and uh, got some wheel studs to where uh, it was the same lug nut size and everything same tire tool to get the spare tire off as the rest of the trailer obviously and uh, popped it right on on there and uh, it's solid as a rock I mean it really works well we were thinking about putting it up on the tongue but we wanted something else on the tongue obviously we wanted a little box little area here for straps and so on and so forth for different jacks and tire tool and whatever so let me know what you guys think Thank you very much.